This is the Louis T. Network. Man, I love some football. Man, I love some football. My favorite week is week one, because I'm watching football. First comes the preseason, and I don't take a day off. And then it gets even better when your team makes the playoffs. 32 teams go hard for one thing. They work for one thing. That Super Bowl ring. 32 teams go hard for one thing. They work for one thing. That Super Bowl ring. I am your host, Lou. Thank you for joining me. Week number nine in the National Football League, Arizona Cardinals going on the road, trying to get a big W in Big D versus the Dallas Cowboys. No Tony Romo. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Somebody's in trouble. Look, don't be fooled by Brandon Weeden coming in and going, what, four or six in a touchdown last week against the Redskins. That's not who he is. He's an imposter. Don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, Cowboys fans. You want Romo in the center. And if you're the Arizona Cardinals, you couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if Tony Romo would have made a huge difference or not. Would, would you have won the game? Maybe. But I can tell you this much. You would have struggled a lot more, possibly even lost, had Tony Romo been in this game. So you couldn't have come at a better time. You, you, you show up in Dallas and you got a great chance of getting a W with Brandon Whedon under center. Let's see what happens. As this was supposed to be built up as this huge matchup, it was supposed to be the 7-1 Cowboys versus the 6-1 Cardinals. Redskins messed everything up. They, they beat the Cowboys, take a little bit of the luster off the top, and they hurt Tony Romo in the process. So now the Cardinals say, hey, more wins for us. Let's just go get this W and get out of here quick before anybody notices. Let's jump into this. During a solid drive with the cards, they picked up a couple of first downs. Carson Palmer throws a pick six to Tyler Patman. Who's that guy? Bling, bling. House call for Tyler Patman. He's going to the crib. It's seven to nothing Dallas in this game. The one way the Cowboys can win this game without... Having Tony Romo is having the defense step up. Carson Palmer sharing the football and these boys turning the Cardinals over two or three times and getting a W. That's the way they can win this game. DeMarco Murray running the football, steady die to him, and the defense getting it done. If the Cardinals are going to lose this game, that's what's going to have to happen for the Cowboys. So, hey, half of that equation seems to be ringing true early on. Cowboys up 7-0. A huge Dunbar scream. Man, this was beautiful. Cardinals give them a blitz look. They come with pressure. Cowboys have the perfect call ready for them. They were sitting on the fastball. Cardinals teed up that 95 mile an hour. Bop! Cowboys yank it down the left field line for a triple as Dunbar gets about a good 35 yards or so on this screen. It is beautifully set up and it leads to a 52 yard dangerous Dan Bailey field goal. It's 10 nothing. Cowboys up early on the Arizona Cardinals, but never fear the Cardinals. They're here. And so the second quarter comes, Cardinals respond with a 13 play, 80 yard drive, touchdown, caps it off as seven yards from Carson Palmer to John Carlson in the end zone. It's a zip throw too. Carson had to zip it in there and he did. It's now 10-7. Cowboys on top. 
but Cardinals playing with a little bit of confidence now. Carson Palmer throws his second touchdown of the game, this time to Jerron Brown on third and 10. It's now 14 to 10. Arizona up on top as we head to the halftime break. We fast forward to the fourth quarter. Nothing to see in the third quarter. So we go to where the rest of the action is. And that's in the fourth quarter. Great play by Ed Stinson to force a fourth down on third and two. With Whedon on the move, he's scrambling. Looks like the first down is definitely going to be achieved by Brandon Whedon. Except Ed Stinson gets his hands on Whedon as he's starting to approach the line of scrimmage. Able to get him down short of the first down with a gain of one. He needed two. Wow. Is, is Jason Garrett, is redhead Jesus going to roll the dice here? Nah, it's only 14 to 10. No reason to do something foolish here. Give the Cardinals great field position and a chance to score. The defense has been playing outstanding football to this point. Give yourself a chance. So they punt the football. So after the punt, after that fourth and one punt, Cowboys are able to pin the Cardinals deep in their own territory and force them to punt the football. Dwayne Harris able to get a nice little return inside of Cardinals territory. And the, Car and the Cowboys can't do anything with that great field position. And so they go for it on fourth down. And DeMarco Murray is stuffed. Wowzers. We're talking about one of the best, if not the best, run defense in the league here, folks. So don't be fooled. These, these Arizona Cardinals, they get it done on the ground against teams rushing attackers. So it's not a coincidence that no Tony Romo, best run defense in the league, or one of the best in the Arizona Cardinals, no 100-yard day for DeMarco Murray. That all makes sense to me. Now, he still had a solid day, just not what we've been used to seeing from him this season, having started the season with eight consecutive 100-yard games. Wasn't able to achieve that in this game, but give some credit where credit is due. The Cardinals play run defense. You saw it on this play. Cowboys, great field position. You're thinking they've got to get something here. They've got to get something here. After the Harris return, you know, a lousy punt, great return. They're in Cardinals territory to start the possession. Fourth and one. And you're thinking, okay, they start at the 45, they've got to be, I mean, a first down literally gets you in Dan Bailey field goal range. And, and truth be told, they could have attempted a Dan Bailey 53-yard field goal. He would have nailed it. He's already hit from 52 in this game. But you want to be greedy. I'm not mad at Jason Garrett for rolling dice. You kiss the dice. <sighs> ha! Scare money don't make money. Hope they don't come up snake eyes. They did. They did. They came up double aces. Boom! Cardinals get the stop. That was the momentous change of the game to me because after that stop you get a huge tiptoe catch from Ted Ginn Jr. on the sidelines. Beautiful grab. I think a lot of times we forget Ted Ginn Jr. can also catch the football if you throw it to him. Beautiful catch on the sidelines. Gets them into Cowboys territory. And, and then a one yard Andre Ellie touchdown run gives them a 21 to 10 decisive lead in this game. Just for good measure though. <laughs> Just in case you forgot who's that quarterback. Brandon Whedon had to stake his claim, throws an interception to Antonio Cromartie. Cardinals then deposit that into the end zone on a one-yard Marion Grice touchdown run. It's now 28-10. to 10. This game is, for all intents and purposes, over as the Arizona Cardinals march into Dallas and take care of the Cowboys. Isn't it ironic that every single one of the Dallas Cowboys losses this season is coming home? I mean, that is hard to fathom. I mean, in, in a league where home field advantage matters. You know, you could argue in basketball that in baseball, it doesn't matter if you're at home or not. Who cares? You know, you can go on somebody else's turf and get a W. In a league where home field advantage matters, especially for the good teams, you rarely see good teams struggle at home. It's the bad teams that struggle to get Ws at the crib. In a league where home field advantage matters, the Cowboys have lost all three of their games this season at home. Once to the San Francisco 49ers, once to the Redskins, and now to the Cardinals. It's hard to imagine that this team plays better football on the road, but as you can see, they seem to band together a little bit better. And as fate would have it, their tough stretch down the road, they've got to play their final five out of six games away from Big D. So. If this team is really that good on the road, we will find out because they're going to have to go on the road here shortly. After that bye week, 
They've got a lot of games on the road, and they've got to strap it up and get it done. So we'll see if the Cowboys can bounce back. They got a nice layup next week in London against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's see if Tony Romo will be back. I'm hearing the reports that he'll be back. If he's back and they're able to take care of the Jaguars in London, that'll get them to 7-3 at the bye week. A nice, perfect landing spot for them to come off the bye and see what they're made of to finish up this season. And meanwhile, the Arizona Cardinals impressively go on the road, get it done again. No Tony Romo, win Tony Romo, it doesn't matter. They went into Big D and got the W. They're now 7-1 on the season. They're not leading that a a NFC West division. And they've got a stranglehold. I mean, the 49ers struggle. They lose to the Rams. Seahawks didn't look that impressive against Oakland. Okay. <laughs> Who would have thought the, the Arizona Cardinals at this juncture of the season would have a stranglehold on the NFC West? You got me. I wasn't that guy. But that's what they're doing right now. Kudos to the Arizona Cardinals as they find a way to get it done again. So that's going to do it for Cards Cowboys. And thank you for joining me. If it happens in the National Football League, whether big or small, we cover it all here in the lab room. Thank you for joining me. Come back and join me as I continue to break down week number nine in the National Football League. See you.